Hello everyone! I'm super excited to be here today because we have a new salad for Olivia Rodriguez with Angsty Queen herself. We have another single from her new album coming out called Guts. That's the album. This song is called Bad Idea, right? Interesting, interesting title. We have a music video to watch here today, as, as well as, of course, listen to the song for the first time. We have gotten Vampire already from her, which is a fucking banger of a song. So I'm really excited to see what else we got here. The teaser looks so freaking interesting. I know that she's like wet, like as if she just got rained on on a bus. Looks like there's some sort of house party happening or something from what I can tell in what she has posted on her Instagram as well as like Liv Livy's HQ or whatever. I'm excited. Let's let's check it out. It's like literally 1209 so I'm late. I need to like look at this right now. So let's check it out. Olivia Rodrigo is such a freaking amazing artist. I really loved Sour even though I am a 26 year old lady you would think would not be into sour because it's definitely music made for teenagers but i still love it okay i also really loved her on disney i liked when she had that song on disney what was it called all i want yes all i want was really really good she's such a talented young lady and i think she's gonna be huge i mean she is huge she's a grammy winning artist so <laughs> before we get into it though i want to remind you guys to please subscribe it would be really cool if you did that you know give us a thumbs up comment down below i love talking to you guys in the comments um, that all mean a lot to me, but if you decide to not do any of those things, I totally understand. I get it. I just appreciate being here and giving me your time because I know you have lots of videos you're watching instead and I appreciate you giving your time something you cannot get back to watching my silly little video. So that's all I have to say for my rambly intro and uh, let's get into it. Let's listen to Bad Idea, right? By Olivia Rodrigo, new song, new official video. Let's check it all out. Why is this taking forever? Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> Why am I nervous? Wait, 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 wait to go back there for a sec. Who is in that mirror? Is that, is that Tate McRae? And Iris, of course, it looks like, I think. Okay. Whoa, what is she saying? I didn't put this ladder. What? I need to go back for a sec. I'm sorry. I'm so annoyed. I, I was not prepared for this. What? I haven't heard from you in a couple months, but I'm out right now and, and I'm all fucked up. Oh, wait, why? What did that sound? Lose are not worth mentioning on the phone call, the caller ID. <laughs> Holy freaking shit! This is so freaking cool. What a fun sound. The like chorus, chorus, the choir chorus is like the ah, uh, and like all the layers of the voices coming together. Oh my gosh. It's a bad idea, right? <laughs> Sing it tonight. <laughs> Fuck it, it's fine. Yes, I God, this is fucking amazing. <laughs> this is so cute, like so sassy, like just knowing you shouldn't be doing something but doing it anyway, like I think we can relate to that when it comes to exes. You know you know it's a bad idea, but you just feel like, well, I just tripped and fell. Tripped and fell into his bed. Like Everything. This is everything. Oh my god, she went through all that shit to go see him. <laughs> is he not gonna into the freaking door? Oh no! Oh, no way! No 
there's a freaking spider. No! Oh, come on. Oh my god. That was the fucking best thing ever. I mean, wow. Just like, does she have a bad song? I don't think so. Every song on Sour was amazing. Every song we've gotten so far from Guts is amazing. Vampires in this? It's so sassy. It's so self-aware. It's so funny. It, it's so relatable. Oh my gosh. I must see what Genius says. Described as fun and playful, but Idea Right serves as a second single off of Guts. But Idea Right follows the events of Olivia lying to her friends about seeing her ex-boyfriend again, whose, whose opinions she ultimately does not care about. Her emotive lyric ponder on whether the pair can rekindle their love for each other, and she's willing to see the outcome. Mmm. Wow, this kind of talky lyric is so fun from her. Oh, interesting. Hey. The hey in the intro. Oh, genius, it says the track begins with an auto effect of a door opening and Olivia greeting someone with a hey, presumably her entering the house of the ex-boyfriend as described in the lyrics later. And I pull up to your place on the second floor and you're standing smiling at the door. This could also suggest the song is Olivia's thoughts as she enters his house, facing her potential regret but mostly being pathetic towards the risky situation. Oh my god, I didn't even realize that. Wow. Haven't heard from you in a couple months, but I'm out right now and I'm all fucked up. That beginning is so freaking good. Is this the opener of the album? Because this would actually be a good opener for an album. Just that jumping right into it. It kind of runs in, in brutal in a way. I know she posted this, the track list on Instagram. It's, it's the second song. The first song is All American Bitch. And the third song is Vampire. This track looks, looks so good, by the way. Let, let me talk about this really quick. This fucking track list. All American Bitch, Bad Idea Right, Vampire, Lacey, Ballad of a Homeschooled Girl, Making the Bed Logical, Get Him Back with an exclamation point, Love is Embarrassing, The Grudge, Pretty Isn't Pretty, and Teenage Dream, which of course, Teenage Dream reminds me of the lyric, Where's My Fucking Teenage Dream? She posted on Instagram saying, Bad Idea right is out everywhere i had such a fun time making this song with dan in nyc last year we wrote the chorus as a joke we loved it so much we made it into a full-fledged song oh i had a ball making music video with my friends petra collins madison who tate mcgray iris apatow and i'm so happy it's out in the world you can listen and watch now hmm she's such a fucking it girl dude her and her little girly friends are such it girls. The chorus she said was originally written as a joke, right? Yeah. The chorus is, yes, I know he's my ex, but can't two people reconnect? I only see him as a friend, and that's the biggest lie I ever said. And then she says it again, oh yeah, I know he's my ex, but can't two people reconnect? I only see him as a friend. I just tripped and fell into his bed. It's like, you know you shouldn't be doing this, but like, this force is, is pulling you. It's like, you're not even thinking, you're just... All of a sudden you're there. All of a sudden you're at the house. You don't even know how you got there, but you're all of a sudden at this guy's house when you know you shouldn't be. Dude, the pre-chorus seeing you tonight is a bad idea, right? End it with fuck it, it's fine. These lyrics are so fine. So good, so relatable. Dude, this album is gonna be so freaking good. I really cannot wait to hear this full album. Fuck, I think this is gonna be another not good of an album. I. I think she's actually gonna top Sour. I mean, I can't imagine the anxiety she must feel about making a sophomore album because of the success and because of the whirlwind just hit that, uh, that Sour was, that Driver's License was. That freaking album, that song, Driver's License, took over the freaking world for a little bit there. And I'm, I'm sure she probably feels a lot of pressure to make her next album, her next song she puts out as good or if not better than her last album, of course. I mean, Vampire just blew out of the water. This song blew out of the water. I don't think that, that this new album is going to fail in comparison at all. I think it's actually going to be better in terms of how much success it gets. I do think that in terms of numbers and success, this is going to get played a lot. This is going to be talked about a lot. It's going to be a sound used on TikTok a lot. Like the whole fuck it, it's fine or I just fell into his bed. Those are all really good little sounds I could see going actually pretty viral on TikTok as well. She's really creating music for a generation. It just feels so refreshing and so new. 
it really does feel like it's for that TikTok generation, but it's not like bad and fleeting and trendy in a way. It's still very timeless. She's creating these songs that really tap into that Gen Z TikTok generation sound and relatability and just humor and stuff without it being super trendy and fleeting. Like for example, like the ABC song does it have the it doesn't have that like longevity in terms of the production and the lyrics and all that stuff whereas olivia and dan are creating these songs that have that longevity to it that feel very timeless and but also feel very current at the same time it's just really good pop music i don't think it's gonna get old su super fast you know like for like like let's say 10 things i hate about you from leah kate though i, I feel bad bringing another artist i don't want to you know talk shit about this other girl i'm sure she has you know great music i'm sure she's a great girl but i'm just saying like if i'm just saying that livia has this this music style that's very on the pulse and very current of today but at the same time doesn't feel like it's going to not age well quickly does that make sense <laughs> am i making sense i feel like her music is going to still withstand a long time even though it sounds very current and this song is just so fun it's so fun it's a song that i could definitely put on over and over again and just like fucking jam out to like yeah it's just oh it's just so good it's timeless it's current it's poppy and it's just good but i'm gonna end this video here i think i've done enough rambling okay i hope i made sense at some point in this video i wonder if we're gonna get another single before then i feel like we're probably not i think we might just get two singles but if we get a third one that'd be that would make me very happy it's just a good time to be alive right now we got taylor swift killing it we got Olivia Rodrigo killing it all right I'm gonna get going. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for having me today. Please don't forget to subscribe before you go and give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Um, and yeah, I love you so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!